She's been out of the spotlight for six years, but Corinne Bailey Ray says it feels like she's never been away. She's back with a new album, some of it made in Leeds, the rest in LA, where she says the sunshine was added. We'll speak to Corinne in just a moment. Good morning. Good morning. morning. We're going to have a listen first. Is that all right? Yeah, of course. Okay, let's have a look. Just like a star across my sky, just like an angel off the page, you have appeared to my life. Karen's with us. Morning. That's a really, really tranquil way to kind of oh, have, have us in the morning. It's just beautiful. Yeah. Um, good to be back. Yeah, it really is. Yeah, it's yeah. nice to be talking to you guys and brilliant to be out talking about my album. You know, I'm a writer and, I'm, and a producer, so I've been working all this time in music, but it's really nice to be back in front of the microphone and playing to crowds. You know, many people wouldn't think... They hear you, see you, see you in a clip like that and say, OK, yeah, she might have written her songs and obviously you're singing them. What does it mean when you say you're a producer as well? Well, it means I think of the song and I think of, like, what's the context? How should it sound? What should the instruments do? How fast should it be? What key should it be in? And, you know, I have my own studio. I built a studio in Leeds and it's got loads of different instruments. It's a real playground for me. It's got a big grand piano and I play drums and I've got my guitars and basses. And I just use it as a place to kind of dream and imagine and mess around and, and see what I can come up with. I, it's fascinating, isn't it? I, I was thinking about Beyonce and her new album. People love to read things into albums, don't they? Yeah, it's true. They love, I mean, I don't know how it is from your point of view when you maybe you read critic. I don't. Do you read? Do you read what I people say about I never read anything music? that people write about me, actually. I think it's really important to kind of have that distance and, and not be part of that feedback loop. But it's interesting what you say about people reading stuff into music because I really think once you write a song, it kind of belongs to everybody and everyone can make up their own meaning. And I feel like my songs mean different things to different people. When I meet them on the street, they'll say, oh, this really makes me think of this person or my mother or my partner. And Must be great when that happens, assuming it's good. It is, assuming, it's really good. Assuming it's connected with a good Thing. Yeah, it's that always great. I feel like the sort of level of fame that I have is such that I feel like I get to have a really fun, normal life and do loads of great things, but then occasionally, you know, people come up and talk to me on the street and I always really like the people, you know, they always seem just kind and um, they've had this really good connection with my music and I always like having a chat with them. Talk about your level of fame. You're going to be touring with Stevie yeah. Wonder. Okay, so I kind of think your level of fame is up here, at least amongst those grand stores of music you've performed with Prince and, yeah, right. and some, some massive names. What should we be expecting from you with Stevie Wonder and you, your upcoming tours? Well, the tour that we're, we're performing at Hyde Park with Stevie Wonder, he's doing the whole of Songs in the Key of Life, which is an incredible Amazing. record, very influential. And Pharrell's playing before him, and then before Pharrell, we're doing our set. So our set's going to be a mixture of like the songs that have made me, I guess, uh, more well-known, and also songs from this album, which is called The Heart Speaks in Whispers. And uh, that album is all about like listening to the inner voice um, so I guess there's the new music and there's also some old music. It's going to be fun, we're going to be having a bit of a dance. You've led perfectly into us, sharing a bit of your new single, uh, Stop Where You Are. Oh, thank you. Life shining around you, don't miss a day If you're caught up in the chase What's all that about then? It's not where you are. <laughs> <laughs> we want to hear, we don't want to make out, draw our own conclusions. Yeah, well, what was, it, what was that People saying? are welcome to do, but yes, yeah, Stop Where You Are is really about being present and being in the moment and um, taking time out to sort of celebrate now. I feel like there's so many times in life when we can like, hold our happiness away from ourselves and say, you know, when I get that job, I'll be happy, or when I get a partner, I'll be happy, or when I lose that weight, or when I go on holiday, and all the time we're thinking of this time in the future that we'll be happy. But I think Stop Where You Are is really about being present and being in the moment. There's a line in there that says, light a fire where you are. And I really like that idea of sort of ritualising the present and, and, and celebrating now. I'm a big fan of that. Take pleasure in the little things, that's why. Yeah. So, yeah. Good cup of coffee. 
Yeah, and just sort of like be in, in the experience, you know, be present, you know, I think it's a really good way to experience your life and I think you can miss your own life if you're always kind of planning ahead and... And, and pinch yourself it. when you're on stage with Stevie Wonder. Yeah. Hard. Yeah. Do that as well. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I mean, that's a really important thing to do. I think music's been so amazing for me, it's taken me to so many unexpected places and I just feel really lucky. Wish you all the best. Thank, Thank you. Thank you so much for joining Thanks us this much. morning. Corin Bailey Ray. Uh, yes, we'll be speaking to the stars of the new sitcom The Windsors in just a moment. For that, last look at the headlines where you are this morning.